In this series, we showcase the faces behind some of the popular street names in Zimbabwe. In the capital city of Zimbabwe, Harare, as well as Bulawayo and Mutare, you will find a road named after Tarsisius Marlon George Silundika. If you love this channel, please consider partnering with me on Patreon, link in the description. George Silundika was widely regarded as a unifier. He was born near Plum Tree on the 1st of March 1929. His father was a salesman. George received his primary education at Mpandeni Mission and then went to St. Francis College, Marion Hill, Natal, in 1945. In 1951, he enrolled at Fort Hare University in the Eastern Cape Province of South Africa for pre-medical studies, but was expelled in the following year for political activism. He then enrolled at the Pius XII University College, Roma, in 1954, in neighboring Lesotho. But the South African authorities put pressure on Lesotho until he was deported and sent back to Rhodesia. Other sources say it was because he didn't have enough funding to finish his studies. Returning once again to southern Rhodesia, he taught for two years at Mpandeni Secondary School before joining the Federal Broadcasting Corporation in 1958. He did not remain long in his job. He moved within months to the University College of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, Salisbury, where he was engaged as a research assistant in the Department of African Studies. He was an active member of the ANC. Silundika was a founder member of the NDP and was elected Secretary General at the first Congress held in November 1960. In July 1960, he led the March of the 7,000 protest from the African townships and impressed the party hierarchy with this combination of intelligence and leadership qualities. The Rhodesian authorities ended up banning the ANC and the National Democratic Party. When the Zimbabwean African People's Union, ZAPU, was formed in 1963, George Silundika was sent to Lusaka, Zambia to direct the first stages of the armed struggle and remained in exile for the next 18 years. George Silundika, a man who was a stalwart of the liberation struggle, had a vision of unity and purpose among liberation movements in order to quickly defeat colonialism. He returned home in 1980 after the Lancaster House Agreement and was elected the Member of Parliament for Matebeleland South. He was later appointed to serve in Zimbabwe's first cabinet as Minister of Roads and Traffic, Posts and Telecommunications. George Silundika was a member of ZAPU's Central Committee at the time of his death on April 9, 1981. George Silundika was buried at the National Heroes Acre in Harare.